Hi everyone, today I am going to be talking about some highlighters that I did not love. So if you don't like videos that are negative, um, I do not recommend you watch this one. I have a lot of other videos that you could gladly watch. Um, but I, yesterday I posted my top five favorite highlighters. So the highlighters that I love, just in summation, because I do feel like that got redundant. I'm going to try not to do that again. Um, I like really glowy, natural, oh, not natural. I like really glowy looking highlighters. Um, that just kind of give you like a glow from within, like a dewy kind of look. I don't like glitter and highlighters. And I also tend to prefer neutral to cool tone leading highlighters. I don't really like very warm ones. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about four my top five fi highlighters that I really don't like at all. Um, these were a little harder to pick out. Same thing when I did my eyeshadow palettes. I'll link those videos as well if you're interested. I did my top five and my bottom five eyeshadow palettes. Um, I find it a lot easier to think the ones I love than the ones I hate because I don't really love these and I, I would definitely not repurchase or really even recommend them, but I think some people would, so I feel bad saying that. So, that being said, let's just get into it. The first one is in my 17 by 17. In case you don't know, I'm trying to use up 17 makeup products in this year. I will uh, uh, link you, link down below my latest update. In case you're interested but it's this one this is my Too Faced this is their bronze and the beautiful face palette this is this was like a limited idea um, item but and I, so I don't think you can get this anymore but this is powdered Sun which again I think is available sometimes it's in some of their like palettes but it's not all the time it's so chunky so it is the highlighter I have on today because again I am really really trying to use it up but it's got straight up gold glitter in it and it's not like oh this is a little yellow I mean it's straight up gold there you go you can really see it yes it does catch the light nicely and if you want a Veva Boom highlight it can do that but it just looks glittery and it doesn't sink into the skin it's like here's some highlight right on my cheek and I don't like that like I said I want something that's a little more natural um, and just pretty and this doesn't this next one, I don't know. I can't. I, I try to like it, but I just don't. And it's by Bare Minerals, and it is their Flawless Radiance. This is an all-over face color, so it's not marketed as a highlighter. I actually have a couple of things that are not marketed as highlighters, but like, I mean, I don't know what else you'd use them for. So this is a loose powder, as most things with Bare Minerals are. And it's like this neutral, slightly warm toned, but it's kind of neutral. But again, it's got glitter in it. You can see it is a lot lighter than the powdered sun. Sorry, I thought that was about school. Um, I'm going, I have two conferences next month. So I thought that was about that. And I just applied for a fellowship. So I've got a lot of school stuff going on. Um, sorry. So it's nothing to do with makeup. Um, but there it is. It is a lot lighter. I like it better. Powdered Sun is by far my least favorite of any of them mentioned here. But it's just glittery. And it just, again, it doesn't sink in very nicely. So there it is. And I, I, ha I am going to blend it out like I did yesterday. But it just kind of blends to nothing. I don't know. I don't think it's easy to use. I don't like the way it looks. It either looks like nothing or it looks like you got glitter on your face. Neither of which I like. So this, do not recommend. And especially for all over the face, y'all, I don't know who would, I, I don't think this will ever work for someone all over your face. Unless you're like going downtown and you're like, all right, I'm feeling it. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, bronze up or glitter up. It's not bronzer, it's glitter. I mean, if that's what you want to do, by all means, I put these two very very shimmery bronzers on my body when I go downtown so like you do you man I'm not judging trust me but not for every day all right the next two are also not marketed as highlighters I think you're I don't know so this is the Borghese Splendor Brightening Makeup this is a like metallic liquid and I think you're supposed to put it under your foundation but it's, I mean, it's straight up metallic. I'm going to put it on this hand. So, it would either make your whole face look metallic, 
So then I thought, okay, that's a little much for me. So let me put it on as a highlighter. You see how much I have? Not that much. It blends so much that it it just, it's so hard to use. Like you can't use this because it's like, oh, let me highlight my cheek or my entire hand. And then it just, I mean, you know, if I could maybe figure out how to use that, it's not terrible. I mean, it's kind of metallic-y, but it's not horrible. I mean, you can definitely see the difference between those two hands. But I think it's too much for all over the face. Again, unless you're like having an event that you want to be metallic face for. Sorry, my battery was about to die. I just have everything going on today. But... No. Again, I I think it's really pretty and I want to find a way to use this, but it's just a lot. This I was actually really excited about. It's by Giorgio Armani. It was one of the coupon codes at Sephora and this is their Fluid Sheer in number two. So again, I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I'll put it over here. I thought, oh, maybe you're supposed to mix it in with your foundation. Because it is definitely a cream. But it, it, it blends way too much to go on just your face. And then it just, it doesn't do that much. And it kind of got glitter in it. Like, I think if you put this in with your foundation, you wouldn't really be able to tell. Like, with that, you'd be able to tell. With this, I don't think you'd be able to tell, and it would just look like you got some glitter on your face. So, like, I don't know. I, I don't know what it does, and I just don't think it's very good. And it's expensive, and I don't think that my camera is gonna pick it up. But like, there's straight up gold little tiny glitters on my hand. Who wants that? Especially when you're paying whatever Giorgio Armani price is. I'm sure this is like forty or fifty dollars. Mm -mm. I don't want glitter on my face for $40 or $50. So those are the four that I really don't like. And then these two, I think, could work for some people. Maybe. And they're actually in a palette. This is my Spashbox Art, Love, and Color palette. I have done a full review of this, so I'll go ahead and link it below. Um, so it's got quite a few shades in here. This one is in Glow. And that one is very warm toned, but I like it. I mean, it it's not my favorite, but it's workable. But then you have two shades in here that I just think are weird. So yeah, I'm doing a two for one. Because one of them, and it's these two. So this is Prism, which I know you can get individually. And I like a cool tone blush. I, I'm really drawn toward cool tones. Um... And that's kind of what it is and it's but it's got silver glitter in it and it's not that pigmented I don't I don't really know what it does like it's I think it's not marketed as a highlighter but I think it would be for 99% of people but it's pink and it and it's got glitter again I just don't like glitter on my cheek products and you blend it and it just looks dirty and it's gross. I don't like it. And the same thing with something that's actually called Shimmer. So this I do think is supposed to be a highlight. And this one I think could work on really dark skin. That Prism, if you watch Terra Babies, I don't think she's got numbers. I think she's just Terra Babies. Um, she loves Prism. And she is very, very cool tone and very, very fair. So I know that will work for some people. But y'all, this, I think it could too, but not me. This is the shade Shimmer. And... I don't know what it's like goldy but it's got a lot of pink and it's kind of deep I think maybe if you had a deeper skin tone this could work but on me it just kind of looks dirty like it's not pretty it does not have glitter in it and it is just kind of sheeny again it's not my favorite kind of glowiness it's like I don't know it just looks dirty like I put it on my cheeks and it just looks like I need to take a shower. So I don't really like either of those two. But I do think that these two, again, this one's Prism, the pink one. And then Shimmer is like the neutral kind of goldy one. Um, I don't know. I just think those are weird colors. And I think it would be very hard 
for these to work for anybody. Maybe, maybe if you have the right skin tone, then it could work. And I just don't. I have like a light. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm super, super fair, but I'm light. So those are my five highlighters. I do not recommend kind of six. Let me know what you think are poop highlighters so I don't end up buying them. Because, you know, I don't want to waste my money. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of negative, but sometimes you got to review things that you don't like. And that's just how the world works. Let me know if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments. I'd love to hear what you'd like to see on this channel. Um, I'm all about making videos, so if there's something you want to see, let me know. Um, and like this video if you liked it. I hope you did. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of me and my dogs and my makeup. And who knows what else is going to happen that day. You just never know. More science stuff, probably, because that's my life. So, um, thank you so much, and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.